everybody. Hi everyone. Welcome to Twin Set and Pearls Knitting Podcast, mm -hmm. episode 26. Um, we're back in England. We're back in England. <laughs> we wanted to say... Um, back at my house. Yep. <laughs> anyway, I'm Rachel. And I'm Jo. And we're twins mm -hmm. who design together and do lots of knitting, buy lots of knitty stuff. So if you like all those things, this is the place to be. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're back. We've been back a couple of weeks. Back at Rachel's, the lights are a little bit weird today. We've been playing around with the having the overhead lights on, but it didn't really work. Hopefully, it'll be yeah. light enough for you to see things. Yeah. So, what's been happening while we've been away? We've had um, for the first two weeks of May. Yeah, we had a a sale, buy one get one free on our patterns, and all the money was going to New Life Children's Centres. Um, I've been sponsoring them as a charity for over 10 years. Um, they have a, a school in Gambia um, that my friend Becky... They have more, they have lots they've of, got lots of places, yeah. but the one that she goes to is in Gambia, and I sponsor uh, a child to go to school there. Um, always a little girl, because I want to give the girl opportunity to. for a girl to, go, to have an education. Um, it's an amazing school. They um, they obviously teach kids to read and write and do maths and all the normal things, but quite a few of their alumni go on to be teachers. So I think that's that's a really yeah. it's a really cool thing, and they get an opportunity that especially girls wouldn't probably have mm. uh, if somebody wasn't sponsoring them. And we would, we just want to say a massive thank you to anybody yeah. who shopped our buy one get one free sale, um, and we managed to raise. Six hundred and forty-two pounds and ninety-three pence, which Joe is going to. I'm going to round up to seven hundred um, pounds, and then um, we're going to get in touch with Becky, my friend, and work out the best way. Um, so I, it is a registered charity, yeah, but we don't want um, people to think that we haven't. Given the money, we should be giving the money directly to the charity. When right from the start, we said that we were going to try and support Becky yeah. to go an extra time. She goes once a year. She'd love to go twice a year, or she does sometimes go twice a year. Mm. But she pays for her flight and everything out of her own pocket. So we really wanted to support her to go the extra time, and then the ex any extra money would either go straight to the charity or Becky would. Take, yeah, yeah buying some things um, to for the kids. Yeah, some school supplies and stuff so like that. So I think, that. you know, they, they've obviously been running um, their charity for a long time. So they've, they've got supporters and they managed to, to do those. So it would be quite nice to use the money to give treats. Yeah. Um, some little extra bits to the kids. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, so I'll get in touch with Becky and we'll work out, work that out. But thank you, everybody. We were absolutely there. so shocked. Like, every day I would wake up and our PayPal would have no money in it. And I'd be like, so excited. Yeah. And that's why I kept posting on Instagram. Well, I was gonna post, I would have been posting anyway, but I kept saying, we've done this much, can we do a bit more? Mm. And we're just amazed and we wanna say thank you. And we also hope that you enjoy all the patterns that you bought yeah. as well. <laughs> because we were celebrating our third anniversary of designing. It's three years since I published the Pretty in plaid socks was the 16th of May. That's why we ran yeah. the sale. And today. we have 99 patterns. Mm. And today, well, the pattern goes into our Ravelry store on Monday, but today is the release, the launch day for the Lady Violet sweater at Knit City, Montreal. So Sophie's there with her stand that looks lovely. Botanical yarn, yeah. if you... Uh... If you haven't watched this before. <laughs> yeah, we've got massive um, FOMO. I'd yeah. love to be in my going to Knit City. I was, I was going to go, but I couldn't get travel insurance. Yeah. So, yeah, we have got massive FOMO, but she's been sending us lots of pictures and things. So Hopefully we're going to be, be doing some um, purchasing of a couple yeah. of little bits that we wouldn't be able to get in yeah. the UK that easily. But so, we're both uh, wearing our Lady, Lady Violets, Violets and we're gonna, they're not going to stay on for Rachel's the whole... has got the bougie version. Mine is the... <laughs> well, it's not the OG. The OG 
that's on the pit, pattern pictures and everything is in Montreal. And then I knitted a second one in, I think that was a colourway. Candy Tuft. Umbelata. Mm. Umbelata Candy Tuft, I think. Mm. Yeah. Um, the mohair and they're, they're the same colours. And it's um, knitted at high gauge, like a quite high gauge on the six millimetre needle. So it's four ply and mohair held together. And it's just a simple raglan. So on the back, but, it's there's no lace on the yeah, back. Yeah, the lace is just on the front. And it's this, um, the lace that I actually put on the Lady Violet socks. So, but we love it so much. Mm. You um, can't see it so much on mine because I've got something pale on underneath. Yeah. But, um, so Joe's is knitted in, mine's knitted knit in um, Puertalope in one, in single strand. That's the first time I'd used it. Um, but I, I, had, I used two just, well, I had some left over yeah. from two plates and, um, it's, so, so that and that's like eight pound a plate. And then, so you could get a sweater yeah. for sixteen. But the pounds. pattern, the pattern, there's five sizes. It's quite a, um, what should we say? You could wear it with very little ease, and you could also yeah. wear it with lots of ease. So I've got about six inches of ease, and I've, I've got, got another sweater on underneath. <laughs> this, this is taking this off. This is size two. How much would ease would you say I have? You've got. Quite a lot. Of Quite ease. a lot of ease. I would say probably ten inches. Yeah. And um, but I'm not, I, didn't med I didn't measure. I didn't measure. Up to I size gauge up to size three. Because I don't do gauge. She was barely test knitting, but she did manage to do it in the time. I knit it in like five I days. I know it's such a quick knit, and it's got three quarter length sleeves, and it's got quite a long cuff, and you don't you only decrease a little bit, so it's quite nice and yeah. roomy. And so there's five sizes. The first three you can get out of two skeins of four ply and two skeins of 50 gram skeins of mohair. So it's quite a, for a hand knit sweater, mm. it's relatively. Yeah. Um, and if you don't mind a rusticky one, to do it out yeah, of this. Yeah, because yours is as fluff. Well, it's fluffy. fluffy. It's got a halo and mm. it's. Um, I can wear it like this is next bare skin. Yeah. And I'm knitting. I think if it was a bit hotter, I would. So I'm knitting it. another one at the moment in cotton linen. Uh, viscose blend um which i'll show you in a bit i will show you yeah. in our whips <laughs> and it's so I'm, I'm i've done a different lace though i'm using the same numbers and i also did that one that i showed last week the um the drop sky oh yeah which was the gauge was totally different <laughs> even though it was initially on six millimeter needles that yarn actually is quite a thin, mm. I think quite a thin yarn, but it was, it's lovely. And that was the short sleeves. It's so, it? yeah, and so you can do short sleeves and all sorts of things. So it's quite a versatile mm. pattern. So and a couple of your testers did, testers did short sleeves where they used Surrey. One tester yeah. had to, run out of, yeah, she was using, using Surrey, so she did short sleeves, but she's knitting the second one mm. with long sleeves. So yeah, so it's lovely, I really like it. And of course, I've designed it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this pattern is at the moment, this, this just for today and tomorrow is exclusive to the kits that Sophie's selling at, sorry, the kit, kits that Sophie is selling at Knit City. But on Monday, it will be available in our Ravelry store. And um, there'll be a small discount. There, there will be a small discount, slightly bigger than the podcast discount, which you can see in the notes below. Uh, we always give that, that discount is up and running for all our patterns. So if you're new here, have a look in the show notes and you can see the code. Yeah, and you can see where our Ravelry, what yeah, our Ravelry, there's a link to our Ravelry group. Yeah, and Ravelry store. Is there a link to the Ravelry store, store as well? There's two, there's a link to the store and a link to the group. Yeah. Yeah. So in our Ravelry group, I mean, not everybody who um, watches this it, um, is, is a member of our Ravelry mm. group and you don't have to be, but we do do prizes um we have a we have two um whip threads and we mm -hmm. also have a couple of cowls um going on at the moment um a morris the morris cowl for the morris shawl which is running till the end of june um and then the scrappy sock along um that's running till next year yeah so um 
have a take go on and have a look at our Ravelry store because the Ravelry store, Ravelry group. Um because there's lots of chances to win a prize. We do a pattern prize every month. Um, so we pick somebody from our who's knitting one of our yeah. patterns. So if you're knitting, one, yeah, so if you're knitting one of our patterns, just yeah. go on and post a picture. Doesn't even have to be a finished object. Yeah, just yeah, what you think. Let us know what you think. About and that it. one, we don't do it random. We pick our favourite. Yeah, for that one. Mm -hmm. But um, but yeah, so the Morris cowl and the scrappy socks cowl will both be random picks yeah um but yeah we do need to promote all that and also a bit more, but, um, but anybody who if you're a maker and or a designer sock designer or something for the scrappy socks if you'd like to donate any prizes for our um scrappy sock along or the with the morris we've got the prize yeah already and we've got one prize that's been donated for the scrappy socks but um, yeah, it'd be lovely to get some. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So I'm taking this off now. Sorry, because it's a bit. I'm a bit hot, and I've got okay. something else underneath. Yeah. So <laughs> this, this we'll be posting this video later today. So if you go, you can. You don't have to be at Knit City to buy the kits. You can go on to botanicalyarn.com, and um, how do we match? Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is the colour of the moment, I think, this year mm. for us. A lot of yeah, this, this I did knit this last year. Like a tone, the tone. Yeah. Yeah. So go on and check out the kits. She's got loads of um, different ones, and she does. She has put in the on the web page the one that is the, the kit that is the one in the picture, so the lilac-y mm -hmm. one. Yeah. So if you like that one, then yeah, yeah, perfect. So, so that's you're still wearing this. I think I'm going to take it off though because it's I'm a bit up there. I'm a bit warm. Yeah. Okay. I'm wearing my Faye summer top that I knit last summer, um, and I knit it. Fluffy. And then it was too hot to wear it. It's knit in dropped bell, which is um, I actually I've got a ball band for a different. I've got um, I've got a ball of that in my in, in my. This is the the yarn um, dropped bell. And I've this a, is the colour. I've got a ball. rose water. water. Um, and it's um, oh, there we go. She's knitting something in it now. Um, it's cotton, fifty-three percent cotton, thirty-three percent viscose, and fourteen percent linen. And by the time I'd finished it, it was actually too warm in the UK to wear it because it's quite thick. You probably could have worn it. Yeah, I I was I don't know I wanted th thinner things and then it got too cold almost straight away to not have any sleeves on, so I didn't really wear it last year. But I I think it's perfect for today. Yeah. Um, and I like it because um, I have a scar on my arm from I was burnt as a, scolded as a child, and it just comes down right over mm. right over right over the scar. So I really like it. Um, and it's a little bit of a flounce and um, these it's lovely beautiful. lace pattern with some bobbles and twisted and rib and a cable. The same patterns on the back. So yeah. it's not just a plain back. Yeah. Although I think you don't really need the pattern on the back. You could do a plain yeah, back. Yeah, you could. Um, if you don't like, if you don't, if you don't really like bobbles, <laughs> <laughs> then do a plain back because obviously there's as many bobbles on the back as there is on the front. But it's got, I'll just stand up a little bit, because the bottom of it is really nice. I love the bottom. You get two different options in the pattern. There's like a rib option, and then there's this stockingette with a bit of a garter ridge. And it matches the sleeve yeah. and the top of the shoulder. Yeah. So, so I, I would really have, like um, I would do a plain sweater and put that on the bottom. Mm. I think it's lovely. Yeah. No, I really like it. This yarn. Although maybe it works because most of the back is is reverse stock and stitch. Yeah. So. Yeah. So yeah. you purl quite a lot, do you? In it? Yes, but I don't mind purling. No, I don't mind purling. Either. I'm a shawl knitter. I do lots of purling. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so that's the face on the top, and it's by Irene Lynn. Yeah. She's got so, lots of lovely patterns yeah, she actually, has. and we'll put, but we'll put everything. And in fact, I saw she had a shirts. new. She had a new one in the top 20. Oh, right. Recently. Yeah. Cool. Um, so, yeah, so that's what we're wearing. 
Do you want to talk about podcasts and stuff yeah. before we go on to FOs and whips? Yeah. Kind of? I've got no FOs. Oh, right, okay. So, um, Rachel was saying that she's not really been watching any pod or mm. listening to podcasts lately. Although... I don't know. My whole... Actually, if I'm absolutely honest, my, my mojo... I haven't been feeling great, which is one thing. But my mojo is quite low, apart from one project, which you'll see <laughs> later on. Um, so I have been knitting, but I... Yeah, I just... I'm not really feeling my podcasts that I used to watch. So if anyone's got any, yeah, any well, new I have podcasts. to say, except I do love. I was watching Ruth Loves to Knit the other day. I do love Ruth, Ruth Loves to Knit. Oh, a bit fluff. I have probably got fluff everywhere. This that thing leaves like. Cat, like, like cat hair really lumps of <laughs> mohair it's very because it's the first it hasn't really been worn mm. so it's the first item anyway yeah so if anyone's got any rec recommendations for new for podcasts, and the one you would recommend is Ruth loves to Knit. yeah also i have to say i've been loving my english lady not english british ladies lately and i do love woolen wishes yeah and i like gain i've been watching gain yeah. gainers april um, vlog, vlog. Um, it's Tales really short. Cookie, yeah, Tales from Cookie, Cookie Land. Land. She's it's just a little short. They like twenty mm. minutes, and it's just it's what I drink, what I watch in the morning when I drink my mm. cup of coffee. It's really lovely. Pick up so one, one pops up every day, um, but you could go back and watch yeah. the whole of yeah, April. We love Gaina. Um, but yeah, Ruth loves to knit. Oh, she says Rachel's her favourite sock knit sock designer. I was so chuffed. Yeah. Thank you, Ruth. Oh. You really made my day, <laughs> not my week. <laughs> um, yeah, life's been a bit, well, full of pain at the moment. So we knit where we can and we yeah. listen to what we all fancy. And I've also, Rachel listens to loads of audio books. Yeah. I like um, detectives, murder, <laughs> murder mysteries. Um, and I also have to say that I sleep a lot. I bought this... Um, like a travel neck support thing. It's like a but big. It's like a big um, Mo Mobius wrap around. Cowl. Yeah, but it's like sleeping bag. It's like feels like you've got a sleeping bag, and you put it. Around, if you double wrap it around your neck, you look like you've been in a car crash. But honestly, if you put that on, you go you go to sleep, and you sleep for two hours just sat, sat in the chair, which is obviously what I need at the moment. Mm. But yeah, it's sleep and I have been knitting, but yeah, yeah, sleep and audiobooks is what's getting me through <laughs> the. And I also wanted to share something, the lady that I'd discovered on Instagram, um, Natalia1905 is her Instagram handle. Um, she says she's uh, knitting patterns and knitwear, Natalia1905. Um, but she does little short videos of how to do different knitting techniques. And the one I noticed the other day is called How to Join New Yarn. Now, it's similar to how I do it, but you don't have to get knit two strands together. So you don't get the bump or the yeah. extra thickness. Because I was noticing I wish on I'd this, known that. Yeah, on yeah. this, I've, I've had to join in the front. And it just there, there's like a mm. double thickness. But this is her Instagram. We'll put it in the show notes. Yeah, and this is the one that I was watching. But there's lots of lots of them. Um, and oh yeah, so she's really um, it's really I really like it. I am actually not following her. I'm going to follow her. Um, she's got forty thousand followers. Um, but yeah. Little little hints and tips, which Ooh. I think we can all learn something. Yeah. And I've been knitting for how long? Forty-seven yeah. years, and I've just learned something this week. <laughs> so, uh, so that's cool. That is so, cool. yeah. Thought I'd share that. Um, I'm going to go and have, straight and have a look at her after we finish yeah. this. And then, so we'll move on to FOs. You haven't got any FOs. No, I've I have, got a half finished object. I've got an FO, but and I think I showed. I did show this last time because I started it. While we were on holiday. Yeah, you were knitting it. And it's my um, summer huge. shawl. It's it is absolutely huge. I think for the actual pattern, I might take a bit out. Right. 
because it's it is quite big. But I quite like it. Um, wrapping wrap, keep wrapping it around. Um, but what I'm, maybe, maybe what I might say in the pattern is where you could take out yeah. to make it smaller than, if you don't want the big it's for the, it's for the end, the bottom. Cause yeah. that's the... So this is a, it's a gar, it's garter ridge, garter ridge. What do you call it? What? Garter Which, what do you call? What do you say? The yarn of the moment, aqua jewel. This is Belle as well. Yeah, this is Drops Bell. <laughs> this is in the colour Almond Rose. I absolutely beautiful. love it. And it's it's a, it's the same pattern as the Morris with the garter three it's you know you knit three pale three to get the, the garter ridge. ridge pattern. And then um Ooh. bobbles and two eye cords. Um and it's so drapey. It is, isn't um, it? What needles did you knit it on? 4.5 millimeter needles and they used six balls. It's abs it is absolutely huge. But I'll, I'll put it on so you can see what it looks like on. Um, oh, oh, so it's not massively um, massive. massive. <laughs> um, and then I just. But yeah, because it's so the, much better doing that than I am. Because the um, because it's not a it's not a woolly wool. No, it's a cotton viscose nylon, um, cotton viscose linen. Mm. Um, but yeah, I I was knitting it by the pool because my hands weren't getting hot knitting it. But no, I absolutely love it, and um, I'm going to be right making some edits to the pattern because I um I'd written it in the same style as Morris where. Because you've got the lace going up the edge of Morris, mm -hmm. you know where you are when you're doing your increases. Mm -hmm. But with this, it's slightly harder. So I was going to write the pattern out line by line. And then um, that this will be going to Beautiful Knitters in London. She's going to knit a woolly version for, this, for the autumn. Yeah. So the pattern will be available at some point. Um, I need to have a chat with Karen yeah, about how we want to, know... to do it. Interested to know how much yarn, woolly yarn, it takes. Yeah. Yeah. But no, it's um, it's so nice just with a um, like a white t-shirt mm. or whatever, just if you're a bit, you need a bit of something around your neck. So I wore it all day yesterday. And um, that colour's particularly nice because it's more tonal. Kind of. Yeah. It's got like a. I don't know how you can even see. You can't see. It must be the One, linen yeah. or something in it that's slightly different. Yeah, dark. The viscose element is darker. Mm. Yeah. I don't know how they make their yarn, so I don't know whether they um, blend yeah. or they dye it once it's blended. And and drops have a drop. This isn't in a sale, but drops ha, drops has a sale at the moment. If anyone's thinking about <laughs> going to have a look at drops yarn, they've got a sale on. Yeah. But no, as I say, it's lovely. Six, six balls and how much? How much is it on a ball? And what? Hundred and twenty meters. Does it have a name? It doesn't have a name. I was calling it the beautiful shawl because <laughs> it's for beautiful knitters. Um, so it might be the beautiful shawl. You can call it BK. BK. Be kind. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's uh, I love that. And then I've. You've got. What a did you ask me the other day that you said? What does O M W stand for? No, O T W. No, O M W. w. On my way. On my way, and you didn't know. No. You took us ages to work out what it meant. Just because I never. But yeah. Do that. I never. I abbreviate things like that. I might say O M G. Yeah, I say O M G. So you've got a half finished object. I do. And then I've got a very a nearly finished object. Oh well I didn't bring any sock blockers. It's gonna look weird. I haven't blocked it yet. No, but it's, not. it's fine. So this is the first myeloma sock finished. And have you got any more FOs? I've got an almost finished. Alright, oh, okay. So I'm I'll I'm I'm gonna talk about this, I'm gonna talk about one of my whips. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. So this is our podcast, um, you can do one. <laughs> these are going to be called the Everyone's Beautiful Socks. So we've got Morning Beautiful, Evening Beautiful, and Everyone's Beautiful. So it's this garter rib stripe, and then on the foot, it's 
you can see the stripe more. And it needs to be blocked because the garter is yeah, shorter than It looks than nice the, on your foot, but it, it does. You tried it on. But it's knitted in Drops Nord. Which has this beautiful, we really love yeah. this colour. They're both heathered. What's it called? Blush. Blush. Beautiful They're both heathered. Colour. So there's blush and there's rust mix. And there's enough um, to knit. You can knit a pair out of two 50 gram balls of one of each colour. Oh, it's gorgeous. But because it's Nord, it's more like a sport. So this is my question to you guys. And I have started living in a Lysander and Olive sock bag. And I've, so I started one in four ply thinking, and I haven't done very much of it. And I've used West Yorkshire spinners in the, um, I think it's called Amber. There's two, or there's two orangey ones. And then this is John Arbin Exmoor Sock. And this is from when, deep, deep stash, from when he fir they first brought out their Exmoor Sock. It doesn't look the same anymore. And the closest colour now they've got is called Fairy Thimble. So, but it's very close. So I've only done, I love it. I love it orange and pink together. And I've only done this much, but mm. this I think is more, gonna be more like my normal gauge for my patterns. So I can't decide whether to do it in, obviously oh, I'll, I like this one. Obviously I'll finish this, I'll finish knitting them. I can't decide whether just to put this pattern in and do a smaller size and maybe even a bigger size mm. so that there it is for everybody, everyone's beautiful. Because mm. it is a, you, you know, you could make you get a nice big unisex. Sock. Yeah, so what do you think? Have we, have we almost decided amongst ourselves that we're going to go with the Nord? I think you go with this one and then you say what the gauge is of that one if you knit it in sock yarn. Okay, because I can measure my gauge, so mm. I can't measure my gauge. But I also was thinking of knitting a grey and navy pair mm. that would look, so they would look kind of manly. If somebody wanted a pair of... I think people can see that that's... Mm. So I've got to, so obviously I'm going to finish the second one and um, I've got, I still got to write the pattern and get it to my testers, but it's such a simple beautiful. sock. And I'm designing that a cowl with the, the same, same stitch pattern. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go with Nord. It's also so affordable. Well, not that the other ones aren't affordable. Yeah. But it's so affordable that it is for everyone, really, yeah. isn't it? And how, so is Nord on sale at the moment? I don't know. I don't have it. So you could, um, you could Nord is about one pound. Your Nord, Nord's like one pound seventy a ball, so you get a pair of socks for three pound forty. You know, you shop on here a lot when it's in your um, yeah, and that's clip there. That's dropped. That's dropped. Yeah. <sighs> Just make it bigger because my eyes are narrowly missed that Nord. Nord is not on sale, oh, but it's two pounds sixty. So you can have a pair of socks for five pound twenty. And obviously, obviously, um, there's that is sixty four rows, but it's not the longest. I've blocked it, but it's not the longest sock. So on this one, I was going to have to do eighty rows to get the normal length leg that I, I've done twenty longer cuff as well. But I think you can put both bits in the pattern. Like I'm going to explain with that one, yeah. then you can make it smaller if you wanted to. Yeah, because not everyone, but you can say sport. I've never knitted, never had a sport weight pattern mm. before. Yeah. So you can just say that it's sport weight. Yeah. And I also think it would make a really cute shorty as well. Mm. Like our other ones are shorties. Yeah. Right, so I'll get on and knit the second one of those. <laughs> yeah, so that's my... Um, and I'm hoping to knit the cowl over the week, next weekend, over the bank holiday weekend. So this is my, um, yeah, so, and so, then, so they're ready for, when are we doing end of June? End of June is yeah. my lower awareness week. Yeah. So, and the other one is living in my hokey Santa Cruz sock bag. 
<laughs> Lovely. Cool. Yeah. So I've been, well, I've had, I would say I've had cast on itis mm. rather than actually yeah. made, a memo, made a mojo is okay. <laughs> Just wanted to cast stuff on. Right, so I've got an almost finished object. It literally needs about three ends sewn in and some buttons put on. Um, and this is my little... You showed it, you started it I last did, time, hadn't yeah, you? Yeah, I started it in, on holiday. So it's my little top for Bex's, Bex and Paul's little baby, who's due imminently. Yeah. Um, we're hoping to see her... I don't know. No, we were hoping to see her next weekend, but next Friday, but I don't think she's... No. She's possibly not going to get that far. Um, so anyway, this is the baby Poonam by Nora Gorn. That name just... I know. I think there's an adult ah, Poonam. Right. Um, and I have done it without any sleeves. That's really cute. All I've done is the same as the neck where you pick up, you pick up, you knit two rounds and you cast off around the neck. I just did the same around before I sewed up the side. I just picked up, with because you put in stitch markers to show you where the armholes are, mm. I just picked up and knit, I actually knit three rows by mistake, but... And that's in... It's all right on each... That on drops sleeves, bell. Drops bell in the colour. Is it dark denim? Yeah. Mm. Blue denim? I can't remember. There's um, two, 20, there's two 20, blues. It's number 21, I think. Okay. Yeah, yeah. number 21. There's two blues, different... Um, and then Rachel's given me some buttons, which I will be sewing on later today. Um, so it takes three buttons along here. Now, this is a free pattern, and there are a few things that I would do differently. If I was knitting this, I would have made... So the buttons are going to kind of come on right on the I shoulder. I always think it's strange to see a pattern not on a baby. Yeah. So if you could have seen it on the baby. Yeah. But would... the buttons are going to come here, which will be like right at the top of the shoulder. Whereas mm. I think maybe you would have finished a little bit earlier on that side. And put, I don't know. Um, but it's free it's and it's lovely. Cute. It's a lovely um, pattern. It's a lovely pattern to me. I make. really like that cable. So my plan is if Bex likes it, that I will knit a bigger size for when he's bigger with sleeves. Mm. How many stitches is this? Is the middle section? The middle section. I just like to put that on a sweater. 20. It's that to that. No, but you wouldn't do it with no. Um I think it's about 26 Oh, right, quite a lot. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. So hopefully the baby will like that and it's in this cotton. <laughs> it's in this summer yard. It's meant to be naught to three months, but that looks yeah. massive to me. Um I hope it's gonna be oversized and boxy on him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's cute. And then obviously with the opening there, you will definitely be able to get it over his head. I've had problems before now where I've knit things and the thing yeah. able to get over the head. So I've had to undo the shoulder seam. And do exactly that. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So, yeah. So, that will cute. be winning its way to uh, baby Diddy Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> um, baby Diddy. As soon as it's. I'm not going to wet block it, I don't think. I'm just going to mm. give it a steam. Oh, it's lovely. Yeah. And I love knitting it. It was really. It was really um, obviously, I haven't done anything. Because we're all knit top down sweaters these days, don't we? Yeah, I've seen seeming. seeming for ages, and that, I, that was a bit I liked mm. liked the least. But the I've got to do some seaming on my. Shall I show? Yeah, so it's a free pattern for oh, Baroque yeah. yarn by Nora Gorn. By Nora Gorn, and it's the baby poo now. Um, yeah. So, if so would you knit it again? Would you definitely knit it again in a bigger size if if, if she likes it? Yeah, it was a, it was a lovely knit, yeah. and I really like this. Um, this cable yeah. here with the with the little ch like a little chain that was really cute. That's lovely. I'd also knit it without that with that pattern 
Yeah. The edge, like the knit, the front and the back. The same. The same. Yeah, like a little, just like a little, like a little slip over. Yeah. Because the front is bigger than the back. Like the front, you add in more stitches because obviously the cable is oh, going right. to. It seems to work. I think the, the cotton maybe changes that mm. a bit. But yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah. And baby knit. So mine, what bag is it living in? Oh, it's living in um, Elizabeth, oh, Scarlet. Elizabeth Scarlet. An Elizabeth Scarlet bag. Cherry blossom? Yeah, it's cherry yeah. blossom. So I'm knitting another, mine's also a tank top with this kind of beautiful daughter slip over. And mine's in this lovely Maramenko. Is it Maramenko? Maramenko? Yeah, uh, material by Folkestone Harbour, Harbour Five Yarns. At, we got it at Waltham Abbey, didn't we? Oh. And the I do not have a good picture to show at all because this is a photocopy of a book which we do own. Don't um, don't be if, if you're allowed to do that for your own uses only. Um, the only picture that I can kind of show, which is really bad picture, is the little buttons on the back. But the baby is so cute. Look at his little afro curls. He's gorgeous. <laughs> so yeah. So I have managed <laughs> to knit the back this week. And yours is meant to be bigger than mine in that it's a different, it's a size. Mine's the, the three to six months. Yeah. Yeah. And have you ever put stitches on hold? How long? I was hun had to hunt everywhere for these <laughs> stitch holes. Oh, I'd have cast them off. Um, but you pick them up to do the neck. Yeah. Yeah. Because anyway. I don't like where you pick up you have a cast off edge and stitches on hold when you pick up for the neck because you get a different tension. Um, I like to cast off and do the whole thing against the cast off edge. Well, I did do, I did what the pattern told me to do. Yeah. So and it's really cute because the, the buttonhole is am I find the buttonhole? The buttonhole is kind of hidden in the cable. Mm. Yeah, but I, and it's really lovely, isn't it? And what yarn is that? Well, it's the drops show. <laughs> <laughs> this is, you can't get it anymore. It's been discontinued. The whole line is Drops Baby Alpaca Silk in colour 8112. In this baby blue. And honestly, I'm going to knit the whole thing out of 50 grams. <laughs> and Might need to knit, knit him a half. I have two of these left. So I was thinking I might knit a flat. Mm. Light, baby, baby flax light thing as well. Yes, so um, I need to get on with that. But it's so soft and it's another cable. Mm. Also bought a pattern. Um, I should have brought that because I, oh, I haven't got my full warehouse yarn to show. You can go and get that in there. Um, I bought an Aran. I didn't. I found it quite difficult to find Aran weight, but Aran pattern. I want to knit an Aran, a cable mm. pattern. So I bought one from the warehouse um, with, it's really cute. It's a V-neck cardigan or a round neck cardigan or a sweater with a little butt plaquette thing there. Mm. So, um, <clears throat> and I've got some of that Aran weight it King is the re recycled, oh, yeah. yeah, in like a baby blue. I thought nice. I'd knit him a Aaron jumper, and I've also got I'm gonna knit him a cabled DK hoodie. Hoodie for when he's bigger, yeah, you don't want to grow out of that too quick. Yeah, when I a lot get of my, work in there, when I get my <laughs> um, that'll be over autumn time, yeah. So, hmm. what's next? I've got one. Two whips. I've got one, two, three. So should I go first? So this is what I've been knit really knitting on, and I wanted to, I wanted to have it finished for the podcast, but I didn't quite manage it. 
Um, so I cast this on on Saturday evening and did neck pan. Didn't get much done. And it's huge. <laughs> it's, I ended up doing, I, I tried to try it on um, before I split the sleeves and this cable is not long enough to encompass your arms as well. Mm. And I didn't, then I didn't want to put the stitch, the sleeve stitches on a different cable and try it on that way. So I just left it and I ended up knitting the size <laughs> three with some extra. On yeah. The and then I got to, so I've put this lace cable pattern on it, which is, there is, there are yarn over, so it's lacy. And only one cable every 21 rows. <laughs> and then I decided to finish the, the cable, get to the cable again. And one little thing I wish I'd done is start with a cable, but it's okay. <laughs> so I've done one sleeve and I've, instead of doing a cuff, a rib, a rib cuff, I've done a, a quick decrease and then an eye cord. I can't see. Um, I wouldn't notice this. This thread, yeah. The, the, that thread, this yarn is very splitty. Um, and I think it's knitted on the, the same gauge. Well, I don't know what my gauge is. The same needle. Same needle, like six millimeter needle. So it's very quick knit. So I've got to do the second sleeve. You and probably then, could have done a five and a half or five. Yeah. And then the body, when I tried it on, this was probably already already to my natural waist because the yoke's so long. So what I my, what I am intending to do is maybe do another couple of inches, and then I want to do a split hem. Mm. Yeah, ribbed, two by two rib hem. And you can see different because it's the same yarn. Yeah, same colorway. You've um, washed that. I've washed it, and this is a knit on. Four, four or five, yeah. four or four or five, four and a half millimetre needles. Yeah. So you can see the different gauge, yeah. God, they're much different for colour years when you wash it. Yeah. Well, it could be different dye lot as well. Mm. But it's obviously a different dye lot. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, so this was going to be like my summer slouchy. It was definitely slouchy. <laughs> but I've got a lot bigger. So hopefully when I lose weight, It'll still look okay. <laughs> or it'll be done. To me, it's the neckline that's a bit wide. Yeah. But it's um, okay, isn't it? So yeah, wear it. The only thing with 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 that kind of the width of it, yeah. Do you have to think about if you're just going to wear a vest underneath, yeah. it'd be fine. Yeah. But if you're going to wear a blouse, anything with a with a oh. I don't think I think I would just wear a vest. Yeah. But also, I could always crochet around the top. Yeah. Of the neck. If it's yeah. too, if it really does annoy me. Yeah. But I really like that pattern. Mm. And I thought that's a good. And I think this style of this cuff, make because it's quite a big sleeve, yeah. makes it look it makes it gives you like a blues on. Yeah. Than a, yeah. So I love it. So that'll be finished for next time. It will. Yeah. If anyone's interested, I could show you the lace <laughs> pattern. Yeah, I'll be wearing it next time. So, um, and that's living in my, oh yes. I can't remember where, what this bag, if I just had it, or if it was from a box of some kind, but it, this is botanical yarn. The, I think it's the large, or the medium. Mm. Maybe it's just the medium. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, it's one of her cinching, Drawstrings with the pockets inside, and I love the colours and the yeah, material. Beautiful. beautiful. Yep. And that was in. I mean, that was a Dox Bell, the same. Yeah. So I've got two whips. One of which people have seen before. Please, can I have a little bit of your lip gloss? Yes. This is new, and Joe has actually bought my, me my own. Yeah. <laughs> we have to share everything. Yeah. I don't this know, is, can you get beauty pie all around the world? I guess no, this is beauty pie. Um, Joe's a member and I, we just love their 
or one of the glass. Yeah, family. <laughs> we have we've had no breakfast yet. Um, this is the so, colour. It's their limited edition, I think, for this summer. Yeah, it's their new. Island Rose. Yeah. It's just gorgeous. It's got like little goldy bits in. Yeah. yeah I've instantly got mohair so. on my... Um, right, I'm going to show... not going to show that one first. Although okay. it's a sweater, I don't know. Mm, I've not shown this one before. The other one's a bit boring, though. So... It's okay. This... It's not boring. <laughs> <laughs> this is in my Delacue... That was a present, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't, it's a birthday present from Sophie. I don't know what you call it. It's a bucket. A bucket, yeah. Yeah, and I just, you just, because it's wax, you can just fold, roll it down and it stays. Ah. I um, use mine to keep all my needles. Yeah, there's a small, it comes and with... An in individual. Oh, it comes with two... Cases. Um, it comes with two, that's a bit of a loaf. I was going to say, it's, I was looking at the tape measure and it's got like 100 and... Yeah, so loaf, if you go into a loaf shop, you get a three metre ruler. It's there. a two metre, no, three metres, uh, not quite three metres. Yeah, three oh, right, three metre tape measure. And uh, I just cut the three. end off so I can have a little bit of a tape measure. Starts at 100. Oh, right, okay. So it's not like completely random. Starts at 100 inches. And then, um, right, so anyway, it, yeah, off topic. I'm not like, but anyway. I was quite surprised that she gave me the navy blue. That looked grey to me. Does, well, to be honest, Jo, I bought, I got some when I worked, when I went up and did some work for her. Like, I helped, her. I didn't work, I was packing orders. And I chose the burgundy. Oh, right, so, okay. Anyway, so, yeah, so that's your fair Q bag. And my little picture, but this, is um you didn't talk about it because you it was too big the yarn i didn't take it with me oh to to tenerife and you haven't talked about it before and i haven't i cast it on before after the last oh. podcast and i was hoping to fin have finished it right for tenerife but i had sorry my story is horrible i've, got I've had yeah i've had a pattern to finish for a magazine and also, mm. which I had to re-knit so many times because I couldn't get shape to work. It really irritated me. Um, and but it is stunning. Wait till you and see it. two shawls that I'm knitting. One I'm knitting for, I'm designing with Knitting Shed yarn. And one that I'm designing with Bird Street yarn. Mm. Um, so that's been yeah. kind of, I've had work knitting priorities. And Joe's got a pattern coming out in the next issue of The Knitter. Yeah. A cowl pattern. A cowl pattern. Yeah, in the next issue of the Easter. Um, so anyway, this is another material girl. Shape. Is it? I thought yeah. it was Pearl Soho. No, I took the pattern oh, right, from yeah. Pearl Soho. So it's a one by one I stripe. It. I love it so much. Um, and it's just the the um, material girl numbers. I, I love the rib. Yeah, I didn't do the short rows. I couldn't. I could have made it work, but I couldn't be bothered. To think about how I got the short rows in the one by one rib. Yeah. So I just didn't do them. Um, but they do the short rows in the rib. No, not in the rib, in the one by one stripe. Oh, right. I mean, I just couldn't work it out. Mm, so anyway, know. it's got this, um, it's a raglan. It's beautiful. Um, I love it. And I have, so the rib is obviously going slightly mm. different. So I'm going to do a, a big, thick rib on the bottom. Yeah. And I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do three quarter length sleeves. Yeah. Um, oh, it's just gorgeous. Do you think I'd wear it more as a t-shirt? Or as... Well, you can always then make it and do the sleeves longer yeah. later if you wanted um, to. So with one by one rib, you get one by one rib, one by one stripes. You get a jog yeah. at the back. So to get rid of not do the jog, I've knit. I've done three stitches in the black where I knit, I knit, Slip. when I do the black row, yeah. I knit the three stitches, and when I do the cream, the natural row, I bring the yarn, I knit three black stitches at the beginning and right. bring the white, the cream yarn behind them. It's a bit creased because it's been shoved in a small bag. You have done quite a lot though on the body. So, it was the last time I saw it. Yeah, anyway. so. Oh, it's, and it's beautiful yarn. Um, the, 
that's halfway on the stockingette part of the body. So I'm going to do knit that again and then do about double, at least double that rib. Yeah. Maybe three inches of rib. Yeah, beautiful. Um, oh, and nice, if do it long and do a cut, have it for winter. You think? Yeah. I think you'd wear it all the time in the winter. Yeah. Um, and the yarn, if I've got enough yarn, oh, I've got enough yarn. The yarn is the woolly knit cotton. Um, but you've got the massive cones. Two cones. I've already knit a sweater out of each colour. Oh, I thought it was the... Not the massive cones, no. no. I've already knit, I knit a black material girl with the natural bump. Bumps, mm -hmm. do you remember? And I knit the... She's called the design is called. It's like a lacy, it's got three different sleeve lengths. It's lacy here and then lace down the side. If I can find it, I'll find the episode where I finished it. I do not remember that at all. Yeah, we'll find we'll put the episode. We can also the, put a link. Some yeah. people put a link on the screen. But do you want to do that? Because you weren't doing any any editing. No, but you do that in YouTube. Oh, right. You link with YouTube. Oh, no. I don't know how to do it. We will put it in the show notes yeah. to tell you which episode it was in. Um, or just put the pan. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so I've still got that much left. Oh, is that all you've got left? Of the two cones. The two... So three, yeah, three sweaters from two cones. Three sweaters from two cones. That seems like quite a lot, though. Yeah. Um, it seems to be gone forever. Oh, I want some. I want oh, them. and at the moment... Oh, is it... How long's it going on for? I don't know. There may be... Crea Bayer, the Crea Bayer podcast, has... She's just launched a pattern, the Tolster Tea, which is knit in woolly knit, held double, and she's got a discount code on the, co on the cotton cones, 20% off. Right. So you would get a cone for twelve pounds rather than fifteen. But they're only fifteen if you don't get. Yeah, they're fifteen if you don't get a discount. Oh, I want some. Though. But there's some beautiful colours. It's just it's lovely cotton yarn. Yeah. I've got so I was I was looking at the colours and I was like I really want the limey yellow and I really want there's like a russet red like mm. a rusty and I was like don't give me those. What are you going to do with them? Yeah. You've got so much. Mm. Well, I've got an idea for a summer top with a lace panel here and just a boxy mm. that I'm going to knit in one of my coast, my whole scar and coast mm. cones. Yeah. Because I've been thinking about what what I'm going to do with. So coast is cotton and wool. Yeah. Right. And I just, this is, this I just bought two sweater boxes. <laughs> yeah. So this is obviously black and natural. Mm. It's not cream or white or whatever. Um, this is 100% cotton. And to me, it feels it's the softest cotton yeah. that I've ever worked with. It's like cotton bamboo. Yeah. Yeah. Feel. I I love it. Don't come in, man. Um, and what are the colours? Natural Obviously. and black. Right. Okay. Quite obvious. But they've they've introduced some new colours, and it is the most beautiful yarn. I would run and get some. Yeah. Run, don't walk. Um. But yeah, it's gorgeous. I just wish I was thin. Thin enough, so I could fit it. I don't think it's going to, it's going to be quite, it's going to be quite, you can borrow it, boxy, isn't it? Mm. The only thing you have to be a bit careful of when you're doing one by one stripes is you don't pick up, like if you sometimes, if you're knitting fast, mm. you can pick up the thread below. Right. And I've had a couple of times where I've had to go back down and undo mm. a little bit, but generally, no, I love it. Beautiful, Jane. And it is a inspired by a pale Soho um, pattern that Caddy Jacks and um, Caitlin knit. Yeah, I think she saw she saw a version at the Lamb and Kid when they were there, mm -hmm. and she then knit her own version. Um, and I've um, done the same. Done the same. Black and white. I absolutely love it. Right, so. I've got some socks to show. Cool. I feel like we've taken a long time to talk about things today. Well, we talked quite a lot in the beginning. Yeah. So, so I finally cast on my May. I'm going to 
have to show you the little trailer scooper I've got. My May socks, Bird Street socks, which I was going to knit the Reverend, the Anthony and the Reverend Blue Jeans for Dad. But it got to the middle of the month and I just wanted to knit a vanilla sock. So next month, he will have them in time for his birthday. Dad, if you're watching. Um, I just wanted to knit a vanilla sock. So I am I picked, this is the yarn that I should have knit the month that I knitted Poppy, <laughs> yeah, last month. And this is going on a bear hunt, um, which is this beautiful pale kind of aqua. It is beautiful. With speckles. You can see the speckles in there. So what I've done is, this is, I've got a needle in it because it's curling. It curls <laughs> till I steam it. So it's th three, knit one through the back loop, purl three rib, and then just vanilla. Oh, the colours are beautiful. Heel flap and gusset. It's beautiful, isn't it? So I'm just halfway through the gusset of the first sock, and so I'll have to put a bit of effort into these this week. To, uh, to finish to the finish yeah. the bit. I've got well, a, oh, I, guess, I was going to say the bank holiday next weekend, but it makes a difference to you because you no. don't work. I've got <laughs> some every day is Saturday in my world. No, I've got a few hospital appointments so that my yeah. and journeys to and from. And I just wanted to show you the little crowbit that's it's living in my lovely William Morris, do we say? I think it was. Yeah. Um, bag from the coffee shop in Abingdon and I've got this little water, I think it's water with lemon, no cucumber looks like cucumber, I guess it could be a lemon looks like lemon or cucumber slices in the bottom, <laughs> in a straw, can you see? It's really cute. It doesn't have any rind. No, it's like peeled cucumber it looks like. Or apple. Yeah, it's f from, it was it was a little gift from, um, far, what's it called? Oh, I don't know. The lady who I knitted the socks for, for Socks on Fire, Fly Dyed. Mm. Rachel from Fly Dyed. It sent me some little things when she sent me the yarn to knit the socks. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So, that's, so I did knit my little sock and then... You can finish with your non-sock. Yeah, and then you can go and find your yarn while I'm oh, talking yeah. about it. So this is living in my <coughs> little grey girl, um, beautiful swallow new bag. Shape, sock new bag. shape sock bag. That Jo bought me as a present. She was so lovely, it is. The best twin. I'm the bad twin. She's the best twin. So I talked about these last My husband time. calls you the evil twin. <laughs> Oh, I haven't even kitchen of the toe on the second one. Right, so when we were in Tenerife, I'd finished, I think I'd finished. They're like stockings. Oh no, I hadn't <laughs> finished. I was going to come home and weigh it. So basically that mark is where I'm going to put my heel in. They're going to be a long sock. And yeah, so they've got like over a hundred rows of loveliness. Oh wow. How beautiful the colours are. If you're yes. a blue person like me. And I finished the second one. Up to there, so I could have, if I'd, if I'd had my mojo, I would have put heels in mm. for today. But anyway, they'll be finished next time, for sure. So yeah, so that's this is. What would happen if you didn't put a heel in? Could you just put them on? You could put them on. People do that for kids a lot of the time because they grow so quickly. Mm. It wouldn't have anything. Yeah. Well, you, the, the heel I put in doesn't have a thick. Isn't like like a slip stitch mm. a heel flap, which is, I, is my favourite. If you <laughs> I'm a heel flap and gusset girl, really. Um, so it doesn't have any extra protection. So you could just put your, part of me wishes that I just put that, but I didn't know where the heel was gonna go. Mm. So I had to get to the end. I actually weighed, I've, got, I've got, probably got too much yarn left just for the heels, because I've got that much. Of each one. Each one. So I've got the two of those. And so I'm going to have a little bit left over. Could you double knit the heel? It would be weird. It would be a bit weird and you wouldn't get them to look the same. 
double knitting or anything? Oh, like, like a plain, like a DK navy or something? No, double knitting, where you get the double thickness. Oh, how do you do, how do you do that? You sleep, you, I don't know how, how do you do start that? it. Mm. Yeah, no, we're not doing that. We're doing normal short bed, normal toe heels. Yeah, but I basically got fed up in the end. And it is hard to judge mm. exactly how much you need. And I- And you need a little bit for darning. Yeah, sure. and I, I did think like 110 row leg was yeah. long enough. Yeah. So yeah, so that's my kind of on the way to being an FO. Yeah, lots of knitting. Yeah. That is. So yeah, <laughs> and that's that's all the knitting folks for me. Right. Well, you go and find okay. your other yarn, and I'm going to talk about my. Thing that's in my little grey girl bag. <laughs> so mine's got moons and stars on it um, in gold on this lovely um, dark green teal pattern. And this is my lace weight Morris. Um, I did have a bit of a panic this week because I couldn't find the second skein, <laughs> but I did find it and I've wound it ready to go. This is Garth Noor number one. Their lace weight, 350 metres to 50 grams, and it's in the colour smoke. And I absolutely love it. I'm, I've been obsessed with this. This is what I've been knitting when I have time to knit, but not time to concentrate. <laughs> and I'm almost to the end of section three, um, which is where you stop the increases, and then you knit a bit straight um, and then you start the decreases. So I need to, this needs to do half a repeat and then two and a half repeats to the middle. So, and then it will be a perfect, um, so I used both balls. But this is the Morris shawl. Uh, showed, I showed it on the last episode. We were both knitting them on the way to Tenerife. I've, no, I've done no more um, I'm afraid. And I just love it. And it's really so yes. light. Um, it does have a lot of um, sheepiness about it at the, at the moment, but I think once <laughs> it's washed, it's going to be so light and soft. Yeah, beautiful. Um, I just keep sniffing it. it you like sheepy I do. Stop it, you have to do it. You don't have to do it on the podcast. It smells amazing. Um, yeah, it. this yarn is lovely. Open so, um, um, excuse me. Yeah, I'm just going to keep going. And one day I will show it you and it'll be done. <laughs> Does anybody else like Rio Light? It's my beverage of choice. <laughs> is it only available at Costco? No. Oh. We sell it in the League of Friends at Churchill. Oh, right. So at the moment, I'm cramming this into this bag and I'm wondering at what point yeah. it's going to stop fitting and I'm going to have to... Um, gonna I have brought to... it in to knit this morning and I was like, what's in there? It's so little. <laughs> <laughs> there is still room though. I think if I put the shawl in first and then the yarn on the top, yeah. it'll fit for a lot longer. And in the week, she rang me and she'd lost, she couldn't find the second oh, scale. Yeah, I was just saying that. Anyway, I had, literally, I am such a lucky person. I have so much yarn in my craft room. I, um, I had to go through quite a few bins to find it, but mm. I managed to find it. Last night, we were sat in my sitting room watching telly together. And I've got a humongous amount of yarn in my sitting room because it's kind of my work room as well. And I looked at Joe and I said, can you imagine if we lived together, <laughs> if we like shared a house, if it was just the two of us, how much, how much yarn would be in our house? I know, it's mad. And there's more yarn to share now. A shop, a shop. Because we've both been, yeah, acquisitioning. Um, so I went to Flock last weekend um, in French A in Bristol. It's really cool, had a great time. Um, none of my regular flockers were there. So I had to sit. A train strike. Yeah. Again, so I couldn't go I had the to second sit, time. 
I had to sit with new people, <gasps> but it was lovely to meet some new people. Um, we were introducing ourselves and um, this lady said, oh, I'm Anna. Um, and I, I went to say I'm, and she said, I know who you are. And I was like, oh, thanks. <laughs> I'm yeah. Joanna. <laughs> I'm Joanna. But yeah, we, um, it was lovely. I mean, well, it's always lovely. And you were sat with one of our test knitters, weren't you? Mm, yes, you did. Not on my table. table. No, but you sat on your table. Oh, I went to chat to Leslie, who's Mapper Mapper, Mapper on Ravelry. Um, she's so lovely. She's waiting for Cecil yeah. to come out. So um, he's coming on the 1st of June, peeps. Yeah. Um, yeah, so um and it's watch out on our Instagram this week because we've we're tried we're trying quite hard to promote Cecil. Yeah. Um but yeah, so um so it was lovely it was a lovely day. And they had so obviously Bird Street yarn um organised organize the yeah. event. So they were there, but they also Sophie from Pixie Yarn was there. So I did some little shop I did some shopping at and both you did, and you did some shopping for me. And I did some shopping for Rach. Um, so I start with Bird Street. Yeah, mm -hmm. I got a skein of this yarn. I'm going. To, I'm think I'm going to knit socks because it does knit yeah. lovely, a lovely sock. Because um, I've had I've had some of theirs every yarn previously. It's been a hundred percent merino, not had any nylon yeah. in it. So this is better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's eighty eighty percent superwash merino and twenty percent nylon in the colourway if you're happy and you know it clap your hands clap your hands mm -hmm. and i really love it i it's loved beautiful. it it's the I only see... stain they had and i got there a little a little bit early and i was like right it's fine loving that i like that lilac perfect yeah with the green yeah it's beautiful it's just beautiful so claire and john you are so clever um shall i knit you a pair of socks in it uh, we'll see are you gonna knit yourself a pair of socks who knows and then I also got some stuff from their bargain bin. So they had a a bargain bin and then a like um, lucky seconds, I guess they would be called. And this yarn um, doesn't have a name. It was Claire's first try for the Socks on Fire um, colourway. colourway. And there were three skeins of it. So I got three skeins. Um, there were six skeins. Um, and it's got some Galena in it uh, and it's just beautiful and I'm thinking um, well I guess I've got three I could make I could make a sweater mm -hmm. but I'm thinking like maybe a massive shawl might hold it double kind. and just yeah no just do it I do single because like the Morris four ply version is nearly three skeins yeah but do three skeins and a hat three yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah so that's my well, plan. that Rusty yeah. orangey mm. colour end. It's just gorgeous. Isn't yeah, it? gorgeous. So I sent. I did send Joe a bit of a mission, <laughs> and I couldn't decide whether I wanted zing or zest, a skein of. But all I wanted to do was to um, knit the rim of like the cast on and a couple of rows of, yeah. of a hat of a, a grey and then have a grey hat. So she was on FaceTime <laughs> showing me <laughs> and we ended up getting the minis, which are the Zing, that Zing minis. And it's got a little, so it's got 20 grams of each of them. And there's only one of those which as well. Is Zing and which is Zest. I think that one's Zing and that's Zest. Mm. And then there's only one skate. There was only one set of those minis. Yeah. So I swooped and then so I think one of those might go nicely with that for cuffs, cuffs, heels and... No, you're not having a whole mini to do cuffs, heels and toes. You can have a bit of this, which is the other skein she bought me, which is a new, was a new colourway called Bergamot, which added to the, if you, obviously, if you watch us, you probably will know all about Bird Street. Um, they have this whole tonal, Beautiful, everything goes together. And this is the, one of the latest greens called bergamot. And bergamot is one of my favourite things because it makes it makes ill grey tea, <laughs> which is my favourite. And it also 
makes my one of my favourite perfumes. So perfect. perfect. Yeah, perfect. so together, either together. Yeah. Or but they're not, they're gonna be used as probably heels and toes and cuffs and for my this hat I've been busy. In. I'm not <laughs> quite sure what is um and then I actually bought three skeins from Pixie Yarns, one of which I've already wound up and but I didn't bring it because it left it behind, sorry. But that was a lace weight. Um, Belle, was it called Belle? Betty. Betty. And it's like multicoloured, like loads of different different colours. Mm -hmm. And then my plan for that is just to knit um, a plain Cecil. I just keep going till you get to the middle mm -hmm. and then, yeah. Cecil? The, the garter with the two eye cords. Oh, right, okay. Um, just... Right, you're not going to put anything on it. Not going to put anything on it. Um, but the two yarns that I did, other yarns I got, were these. And they're in the same base, which is the um, non superwash organic, 100% organic merino. Beautiful. And the colours are rose and sage. And that is going to be a cowl, I think. Mm -hmm. um, Beautiful. Cowl pattern. Towards the, towards the end of the summer, I'll probably Beautiful get around to doing that. Beautiful um, colours together. Yeah. Um, so it hasn't got any nylon in it. And I was like, I love four ply. And I, it does say sock fingering weight. Mm. So I'm guessing because it's... It is quite high twig. Yeah, you could probably knit socks in it. But I was like, I'm a shawl knitter. I don't need nylon. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm thinking... I love pixie yarn. Mosaic. Mmm. Yeah, watch Sorry. this face twang on my can for that be coming later in the year because I'm planning I've got three two shawls and then I've got like four shawl patterns that need work on yeah and then I'm thinking for July I'm going to knit no I'm not doing the designing I'm going to do I've got a couple of sweaters summer sweaters that I want to right. knit and maybe um I want, there's definitely a, a second Cecil I want to knit mm -hmm. uh, and things like that. Yeah. And I want to start again as well. Um, right. So you've got a bit more yarn to show. I do. And I don't think I've shown it. I don't think you've shown it. So I knitted as a sample for Helen of the Royal Kitchen, a fizzy pop shawl um, in beautiful turquoise colour with cobalt. She's electric, was it called? The mohair. The mohair's called She's Electric and the other yarn was Bioluminescence. Mm. And I, I said this before on here, I thought I was always knitting a sample and Helen thought I was just knitting it for myself. So when I sent it to her, it was a real shock. And, no, not shock, a lovely surprise. And she said, I'm going to send you yarn to knit your own. Which, which one would you like? So I chose these two. Um, so they're obviously the same. Called Mad About Purple. Beautiful freckles. And then this is the mohair that we'll be using. And I don't know what the colourway is, I'm afraid. But Helen dies. Like yeah, that. she does amazing. That's amazing. amazing. So, yeah, so I'm really not sure. I've got the yarn from the knitting shed yeah. to do my cowl. cowl, and this is going to be a shawl. And I also, I've got my yarn set out for my Cecil. I don't know what to do first. And I'm also knitting two shawls at the moment anyway. So I've de I'm going to finish one. What shawl are you knitting? I'm knitting Morris and oh, yeah. the one, the Botanical Yarn Accessories Club one mm. so i need to finish oh, i've forgotten about that probably <laughs> that one and then morris because morris is autumnal colors so i will keep yeah. going on him because he's when you i love knitting it and you you know so you so you can do like a whole afternoon mm. of um yeah so i'm going to i get a repeat done in an hour mm. so i'm going to do that but then i want to cast on i want Ready for September. I want the cowl ready, the mm. fizzy pop cowl. Anyway, so that was. I think you should cast that on on Friday, 
see if you can knit it by the end of the bank holiday. What the cow wore. Mm. Okay, challenge accepted. <laughs> I also received, and I didn't take to Tenerife to show you, this gorgeous bag, project bag, which I paid. I did pay for it, wasn't it? I just received it. <laughs> I was going to say, who sent you that? And this is um, Butternut Handmade. Oh, I've got a couple of her which bags. Which I've got, uh, I have more of her bags than much I love. She's Conchita, beginning with a P, something beginning with a P on Instagram, we'll put her Instagram, we'll link her Instagram below. And she's lovely, she's just lovely. But this, I couldn't resist the bears, look. Flowery <laughs> bird, floral bears and foxes. It's gorgeous. Yeah. So, and, and I, I love, and I I love really the linen, love the, yeah. Yeah, I love the neutral base, it's gorgeous. So, that will have a project in soon. But also, Jo bought me a present yesterday. She bought me one of these <laughs> and she also bought me this bag. I had a little trip to TK Maxx. Yeah, in fact, I went to two TK Maxx yesterday, but um, I saw that. Rachel loves the sport. The I used sport to. Bag. I used to have that, be a bit obsessed with the sport bag because you couldn't get it. You could get it in TK Maxx sometimes, mm. but you couldn't get it in the UK very easily. You probably can now, but years <laughs> ago I used to get my friend in Minnesota to buy them. Mm. And then I pay her back, and then I pick it up when I went to visit. So it's like a it's a to it's a toiletry bag or a really, but it's going to be a project yeah. bag because bag it's way. got two sides, so you can have two sock projects at the same time. I was thinking maybe you could fit four in there. Yeah, I probably could. And I, I was thinking about I could put my notions pouch in, mm. quite a large notion pouch now. So yeah. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, lovely surprise. <laughs> Thank you, And um, Oh, I have got more yarn to show. Just, I've got my wool warehouse. So I bought, this is the pattern I was talking about that I bought to knit for Bex. Um, is it piece? Yeah. So there's a sweater, a cardigan and a v-neck cardigan. So, and it goes up to 22 inch chest. So I don't know what size the newborn is. But anyway, 14, I'm guessing. Mm. I'll read it now. So anyway, no, sorry. <laughs> Slip it on five millimeter needles, so that'll be quick. And I'm gonna use that pale blue. Mm -hmm. And then I bought, this is for some more sweaters, because <laughs> I love that one so much. This is DK weight cotton, 100% cotton, cotton soft by King Cole. And this colourway is called Fudge, 1603. And this colourway is French Navy, 741. And they are about £4.40 each. And you get, obviously get 10% off with mm. your RAV10 discount. 210 metres. And I was thinking t-shirts. Mm. So £16. Yeah, have a t-shirt. Cool. But then I was thinking that this would look quite nice with a navy stripe, mm. thin navy stripe. Yeah. With a, so I'm going to think I'm going to do a DK material girl. Mm. And um, yeah, nice, very nice. When I'm going to knit those, I don't quite know, but they will. Be they're quick. on my the mind. One, are we really quick? Yeah, they're on my mind. So, and then the last acquisition to show you is, which I got from, you can get them all over the place, but I got mine from Botanical Yarn. The 52 Weeks of Socks Volume 2. So I wasn't going to get it, I talked myself out of it because I haven't knitted anything from the first one. I've tried, I started, but I just didn't enjoy it, so I'm gonna have to knit one. But anyway, knit something else. I, so I was gonna wait until it came out in paperback. And I thought to myself, but it goes with my mm. other one <laughs> and my 52 weeks of shawls. So 
I bought it and it's got some beautiful things in. Oh, I'll have a look at that later then. Yeah, so very, very tempting. The ones on the front are nice. Yeah. And they changed them, they did not have the they did not have the band. No, it didn't it. have a band around it. These ones you might have seen Indie Links had knitted. The pin wheel. Mm. She's already knitted those. Yeah. So we'll just quickly quick and then you might have seen on the Wool and Wishes podcast she'd knitted the tennis socks, which you knit and they say knitter. <laughs> Hairs look really cute, but I wouldn't have picked. That's not what I would have knit this no. off. But and then we've got a whole. In, there's a chart for all the letters of the alphabet, so you can write whatever you want. <laughs> uh, I think the pinwheel ones are one of my favourites. And right, so you. I know I was going to find the ones that I really want to have a go doing. There's some with, um, I was gonna say, there's another, there's a pair that they've, in, they've, advert, they've used for their promotion. Um, and this was a design that I had, or I it was just about to start because they, it's just a pattern from a from Vogue knitting book. And I was literally, <laughs> no, I couldn't do it for somebody else. So anyway, yeah. So, it's too, oh yeah, we got the exciting thing. That <laughs> last, the yeah. Very last thing. So as we were preparing to start, the postman came. And he brought, with, and he brought this. Look at the packaging, isn't it amazing? Amazing packaging. And this it's is come all the way from the US of A. It's come all the way from Indianapolis. Cat squirrel fibers. Some scissors. I do. We thought we'd unpack it on the podcast. I don't want to be there. Yeah, yeah, hold up quick because nobody wants it. To wait around for it, do you? <laughs> scissors aren't there. So I surprised Joe did know this was coming, but I surprised her with the purchase. So you might, if you watch Fat Squirrel, her bags are beautifully made. Mm. And this, these are the Aran sweater size because it's got this massive print of rabbits on it. <laughs> oh, and there's the, the handle. handle and one lavender bag, which I will have. Okay. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, they are. It stands up by itself. Yeah. Oh, it's gorge. You could have that one with the rabbit like that. Right, the short one has a rabbit like that. Yeah, mine's head's cut off. All right. I've got one with a ears cut off. Yeah. That's cute. Though. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. I love butterfly. The moths yeah. or butterflies, or whatever they are. So yeah. So Amy Beth, thank you for making brilliant bags. She did a pre-order for these, didn't she? Yeah, we've been waiting. They're very difficult to get. You don't always get one of her bags. When she does a pre-order, go for it. Go for it. Okay. Oh, I might put my sweater in it because it's getting a bit big. I'm going to put everything in it. <laughs> <laughs> That's another way of using it as well. So we love them. You need to hold this with me the thumbnail. <laughs> so, well, that's it. Yeah. So we'll be back in a couple of weeks. So. Um, it'll be just after the Cecil's launch. Yeah, so we can. And um, yeah, we've shared what our next up and coming plans yeah. are. So, so yeah, well, thanks for watching. Thanks and so if you've much got for watching. <laughs> if you come all the way to the end, 
if you really liked us, please subscribe. Mm -hmm. We're trying to get to a thousand mm -hmm. subscribers so that we can uh, start donating some money to the charity, like the money we make from the advertising mm -hmm. to the charity, um, which probably be My Loma UK. Mm -hmm. Um, we might find, I might find a charity too, and we might do half and half. But anyway, that's the still a pipe dream at the moment. Yeah, it is. We don't but, seem to. Um, yeah, if you do, if you, if you like, if you're already subscribed, if you could like, and I think that helps. Get yeah, the, it does. Get the podcast um, mm -hmm. shared out among people. Um, and um, other than that, whatever you are, hope you're um, you've got your knitting. Yeah. And um, yeah, we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Yeah. We're going to go and enjoy the sunshine. Aren't we? Yeah, it's a beautiful day yeah. here today. So uh, we're going to get some yeah. food and then go and yeah. enjoy the sunshine. Take care. Take care. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye.